Hello everybody, and welcome to another video. Today, we are going to talk about Winter Storm Izzy, and the impacts you can expect mainly for the southeast. We will also be going over my personal ice and snow forecast. If you would like more information for the northeast's impacts, subscribe, because I will be doing that in tomorrow's video. Let's start. Here is the National Weather Service's current watches and warnings. We have winter storm warnings, an advisory stretching down across the Missouri Valley region, ahead of heavy snowfall. If you look toward the Ohio Valley region, we see winter storm watches stretching from Arkansas all the way up the eastern seaboard. Here is the NAM model. Things will stay pretty calm across the south, until snow, and heavy snow moves into the Missouri Valley region late on Friday night. Once we start getting into early Saturday morning, rain and snow is reaching the south, around Tennessee and Arkansas. By Saturday afternoon, the low-pressure center is located somewhere in the deep south, with precipitation spreading east. By evening on Saturday, precipitation is getting pushed into the southeast, when it will start turning to snow, and a major ice storm. By Sunday morning, we could be looking at heavy freezing rain, sleet, and snowfall, which will continue for the southeast throughout the day. By early Monday morning, the storm is pulling north. We will talk more about the Northeast in tomorrow's video. For now, let's review my personal snowfall outlook. Let's begin with this light blue shade. If you live anywhere in this area, you are more than likely to see accumulating snow, mainly between 1 and 3 inches. If we add the next layer, this darker blue, expect anywhere between 3 to 5 inches of snowfall. Now for the next layer. If you live there, you can expect a total of snow somewhere between 5 to 8 inches. If you live anywhere in this purple shade, your snowfall totals start getting big. I think you should expect a total of 8 to maybe 10 inches, with isolated higher amounts. Now, for the last area. I think these areas will receive snow in excess of a foot of snow, with some areas exceeding that by several inches. Now, let's take some time to talk about the ice threat. There still continues to be major disagreement in ice accumulation, so I made a map that shows where it's most likely. The lightest pink will likely see some ice, but it should be pretty light and not cause any issues. If you are in this darker shade, this is where things start getting dangerous, with more damaging accumulations possible. The darkest layer unfortunately has the highest foreseeing heavy impacts, including power line and tree damage, and widespread power outages. Before we conclude, here is one last thing I wanted to add. This is my personal power outage potential map, or where I think the most disruptions to electricity will occur. Basically, if you live in the green, you should avoid the worst of the storm, with isolated power interruptions. If you are in the yellow, you run the risk for some scattered outages, with outages becoming likely in the red. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe, and share with family or friends in the path of this storm. If you have questions, feel free to ask. See you on my next update.